Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at a speed comparison between uh, Manifold Viewer and uh, Esri ArcGIS Explorer. Uh, ArcGIS Explorer is a fine viewer pr product that um, Esri has created, uh, which unfortunately uh, they have stopped uh, producing as of uh, December of 2017, so that's uh, uh, about half a year ago, and they're switching to uh, ArcGIS Earth. The problem with ArcGIS Earth is that it cannot uh, directly connect to uh, GDB, as Re GeoDatabase is the way uh, ArcGIS Explorer can. We're looking at ArcGIS Explorer here, and here we have a uh, Manifold Viewer. And uh, Manifold Viewer can connect to GDB, and Manifold uh, Viewer, of course, uh, continues to be in, in production. It's just uh, launched in production. So let's take a look how the two, uh, how the two compare. We're going to start by adding uh, content from uh, GeoBeta, GeoDatabase, and we're going to use the Naperville Gas uh, sample file, which uh, Ezra uses for ArcGIS Pro. Going to click Next, and then here we're going to choose the uh, tax parcels. Going to click to Add, and uh, ArcGIS Explorer starts bringing them in. And uh, what we're working with here, of course, is uh, Esri's own native uh, GDB uh, f uh, drivers. So that's that's the speed of what you get there. Let's take a look at how fast that happens in uh, Manifold. And here we do is we uh, click on uh, Naperville Gas GDB, and uh, we just drag and drop the uh, tax parcel layer, and it's uh, pretty much instant. It's uh, significantly quicker than uh, ArcGIS Explorer, even though... Uh, just like ArcGIS Explorer, Manifold Viewer is, is utilizing uh, Esri's own uh, uh, GDB format, <coughs> GDB drivers. Uh, let's uh, take a look at what it takes to uh, uh, reformat this, because uh, the, the formatting formatting here is a bit clunkier with the tax parcel. To uh, do that, we're going to uh, change the ex appearance, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the line color to uh, show lines, because uh, by default, uh, the product does not use uh, border lines. Uh, when, when ArcGIS Explorer shows a GDB. And uh, now we're going to uh, zoom box into this little region right here, which uh, Explorer does uh, quite quite sprightly. And uh, we need to uh, reduce the line size because the, uh, the width of the lines is just uh, absurdly wide by default. And that's about as small as you can get them in uh, ArcGIS Explorer. For some reason, uh, Esri doesn't let you get, get them down to really uh, the small size that you might want. Uh, let's see what that uh, what that takes in. Uh, well, actually, let's, ju let's change the color first. Let's change the fill color, and uh, the fill color we're going to change to uh, this nice orange color right there, which is nice. And right now, this uh, map uses transparency, so we're going to turn the transparency off to try to make a direct comparison. If we want to zoom to fit at this point, we got to right click on the one we want to zoom to fit and choose go to, and uh, that redraws the whole thing. So I said it can take a bit. We're we're using two separate GDBs here, both in the same disk drive. So we're trying to make this as apples at apples comparison as possible. Now let's see what it takes to uh, do similar formatting moves in uh, Manifold. As you can see, the uh, panning and zooming in Manifold is uh, quick, and we also have the ability of these uh, back and forth buttons here, which is uh, really convenient. So we can uh, switch between views. Uh, I'll zoom into uh, this approximately the same region here that we saw there. Uh, in uh, ArcGIS Explorer, and I'm going to use the Contents pane to uh, change colors. Let's change this to uh, that color right there. So that's pretty much about an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Uh, I'll zoom into approximately the same region with the uh, Esri product, so we can we can make as direct a comparison as possible at approximately the same zooms. Uh, let us. Uh, add another layer to uh, the ArcGIS Explorer map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Map, Add Content, again from the GeoDatabase, and back here the Naperville Gas thing. And we're going to add uh, pipes. And uh, here they are, pipes. Click Add. And that adds the pipes. Uh, again, Ezra is going to insist on drawing these uh, kind of a fat color. And I'll let's kind of zoom in here. We can see it a little bit better. Uh, I want to reduce the uh, the width of those lines to make them uh, more tolerable. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. And uh, let's zoom into where we have a combination of, uh, of features. Okay, let's do that right there. Here we go to uh, Manifold Viewer. I'll control click on the tab to uh, zoom to fit. And uh, now let's uh, add pipes to that. 
Manifold has this uh, project pane here. Once you connect to GDB, it shows the whole thing, so you don't have to keep going back and forth to uh, the dialog to choose stuff. And we'll choose the pipes drawing, drag and drop that into the map. There you go. Let's get, so eliminate that. And uh, let's format this uh, color a bit. Let's change the color of this to, uh, uh, let's make it this color right there. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit fatter. I'm going to make it about one, one and a half points for the line drawing. Try to make it as directly comparable as possible. Uh, and uh, let's uh, zoom here. Right click to zoom box to kind of get a closer uh, a view of it. And uh, this is approximately the same region here and here. There you go. Let's uh, let's make this line a little bit fatter for the pipes to try to make it as a direct com direct comparison as possible. And uh, let's change the line color. I think that's about as good as we're going to get in terms of direct comparisons. Uh, to uh, compare this relative speeds, I'll do a go to there. As you can see, uh, ArcGIS Explorer is very good uh, when it. Uh, goes back to zoom to something that it's already seen um, because it caches that, that view and then it jumps back to that view. Manifold won't cache the view. Instead, it jumps back and it always redraws that. Now, that's a good thing because if we're connected live to uh, a GDB file, which somebody else could be editing, uh, we want to see what's in that GDB file exactly as it's been edited and uh, not as ArcGIS Explorer does, showing you what, what's been cached. Uh, you can see the difference in terms of the uh, speed performance when ArcGIS uh, Explorer has to redraw something. For example, let's change the uh, let's change the uh, line color for these tax parcels. Um, there's line color, so let's change that to uh, what's a good color. Well, let's make it uh, something really ugly. Let's choose uh, let's choose a uh, blue, navy blue, and you can see that it's taking its its time to redraw that because now it's not caching; it's actually redrawing something from uh, uh, from the get go. Here, when we uh, look look at this. Uh, uh, the viewer here, we can uh, see what what it would take to uh, redraw that. Let's also use that same color, okay? And you can see it redraws instantly, uh, or at least not instantly, at least significantly quicker than uh, uh, ArcGIS Explorer. I don't mean to badmouth ArcGIS Explorer in, in, in any way. It's a good product. Uh, it's kind of a drag that uh, Esri no longer offers it. But if you want to connect to GDB, you can see that you can connect to GDB uh, using. Uh, Manifold Viewer, and uh, which also is free, and uh, Manifold Viewer is as fast or faster, and it's, it's somewhat more precise, as you can see by uh, looking at it here, than uh, ArcGIS Explorer. Arc uh, Manifold Viewer also enables you to connect to uh, multiple GDBs at the same time, uh, and it uh, still remains extremely fast. You can also connect to databases and a whole lot of other things that uh, ArcGIS Explorer cannot connect. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Uh, for all you folks out there in Esri, Esri land who are looking for an option to uh, continue free viewing of your uh, GDB files, which regrettably ArcGIS Earth does not do, uh, consider switching to uh, Manifold Viewer or at least uh, using Manifold Viewer as one of the tools in your toolbox to uh, get more value out of your investment into uh, Esri products. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Tell your friends and goodbye from Manifold land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.